Hello, today I'm going to be talking with you about medical school bridge programs for those that may not want or are unable to go directly to medical school. Continue watching this video to learn about how to apply to them and what the programs are like. Are you worried that you cannot currently be accepted into medical school? Does your current MCAT score and GPA not make the cut? Well, don't worry. Going directly into medical school is not your only option. I know there's a lot of societal and personal pressure to do well and have your life on track, basically by the time you're 20. But don't worry if you're not quite prepared at that time. There are other paths that you can take to be just as successful. Getting a late start does not diminish your ending. It just pushes it back a bit, and that's okay. As I've said in other videos, people are at different places in their life, and people learn at different paces. Wherever you are at, I just want you to be aware of some alternative options to directly entering medical school after your undergrad. Hey guys, I am Dr. Ava, an internal medicine hospitalist. I think one of the first things that I should explain are what bridge programs actually are. For those of you that don't know, bridge programs are programs that take place after you receive your bachelor's degree, but before you go to medical school. Bridge programs typically result in a graduate certificate or a master's degree. Using a bridge program can help prepare you for your first year of medical school, especially for those whose grades and MCAT score are not up to the standard of medical school. Now that you know a little about the programs, you need to decide whether or not such a program is right for you. Taking a year between your undergrad and medical school can be an intimidated prospect, particularly if you're worried about falling behind. But sometimes, taking a year and not diving straight into medical school is important. If you decide to pursue a bridge program, you will have access to advisors and resources that you would otherwise not have. That alone is a reason to do an official program as opposed to taking a year to study on your own, but I will go through some other reasons that you should consider it. There are specific linkage programs that you can take part in that are connected to certain medical schools. While these can be a bit of a gamble, if you enter into one, you can then only apply to the associated college, but they are worth looking into. Taking your time to apply to a bridge program could also help in other ways. As you will be taking courses that are similar to your first year in medical school, it could alleviate some of the pressures and stress that attending medical school can cause. Obviously, it would not eliminate such elements completely, but it can help with them. Another way a bridge program could be helpful is by giving you more time. If you want more time to volunteer at hospitals or build up other extracurriculars to make your application to medical school stand out more, then you should consider taking one. They are also helpful for those that need to work while they are in school. Though it is an additional cost, it can also provide an opportunity to work and save money for the future. As the courses will prepare you for medical school, it can provide a bit more time to work there as well. There are also several bridge programs that include courses and prep classes that can help you with your MCAT. If your score is one of the main reasons that you were not confident applying directly to a medical school, then a bridge program can provide the opportunity to work your way towards a higher one. One thing that you do need to know is that you are still required to have consistent grades above a C. In other words, you cannot have lower than a 2.0 GPA. Many schools have the option to do a bridge program, sometimes referred to as a post-bac program. If you look on their websites or use Google, you can find specific information for various colleges that can give you this opportunity. But what are bridge programs actually like? Well, they can be challenging. They are expensive as you are still taking college courses, and a few of them take two years as opposed to one. But they are definitely worth the time and money to better prepare you for the future you want. During your time, you will take courses that are similar to those that you will be taking your first year of medical school. Many of them do not require an MCAT score to be able to attend, as you can continue to take the MCAT during your time there. While each program may be different from one another, many of them have elements of both learning and physical practice. For example, 
The Bridge to Clinical Medicine program is a year-long program that provides both education and medical knowledge and experiences in clinical practice and it is geared towards disadvantaged students. The goal of the program is to prepare students for the rigors of medical school. So the programs are definitely an in-between of undergrad and medical school. While they won't prepare you for a career in medicine like medical school, they provide courses that go into more specific information than an undergraduate will. After completing your time in the bridge program, you still need to apply to a medical school in much the same way that you would after undergrad. There is still no guarantee that you will get in, but your chances are improved as you have gained knowledge and experience that many undergraduate students would not have. So whether or not you're thinking of taking a bridge program, I hope this video helped clear up some of the mysteries surrounding what they are like. I encourage you to take your learning at a pace that works for you and to be open to the opportunities that are available. If you want help deciding what is the best route in this period of your life, get in touch with me for my one-on-one -on -one support. I have an online mentorship, Live With Me, you and I together, for an hour with me, teaching you step-by-step -step on how you can successfully manage all aspects that come with becoming a doctor. Click on the link in the description below to learn more. Wish you all the best. See you next time.